He won't get past me, sir. Do you know who we're hunting here? Don't try to take him out alone. But what if no one from the squad is around? Then try to make a lot of noise when you die. Knock something over if you can. Bastard. Smells like a dead weeper in here. your sister was? Another night. Another patrol with you. Oh, look, yes. They come here to die sometimes in the dark. Just slip into the water, don't come out. Anybody with signs of the sickness? Please, not now. Ha! You little bastard. Someone there? <laughs> Nothing That's after all. Right. No. Outsider's eyes, I'm getting spooked. Ha! You little bastard! Don't you owe me a drink? Bug someone else.
We should pay. I can smell you from here. <clears throat> Dunwall citizen, the assassin Corvo, responsible for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, has temporarily escaped state custody. Any evidence as to his whereabouts must be delivered to the City Watch at once. Corvo! Over here! Quickly! I'm a friend! I'm Samuel, and I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. Well, they said you'd come out here, but I could still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them, just down the river from here.
This is the Hound Pits pub. Closed for business. Half the district marked off is dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. I expect they're hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. I'm sure the Admiral was anxious to meet you. It wasn't easy getting you here. Starting at last, Admiral. You found our man. Even after six months in Cold Ridge Prison, he slipped out like it was nothing. Yes. Not surprising. He was the personal bodyguard of the Empress. You've heard the stories. Yes, I have. It still amazes me that someone could get to the Empress and young Lady Emily. No one knows the real story, Trevor. We all have our suspicions. We'll know the truth in time. He's strong and quick. But I hope he understands subtlety as well. This isn't one of your fancy dress parties. The reality is that we need men killed. Have you ever killed a man? Only with my wit. But it's a fair point, as always. He'll be here soon, and I'm looking forward to meeting him. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group, but we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with you. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us. We're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes, Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. Good to have you with us, Corvo. Nothing against the others, but there's no substitute for a man who's done his service for the Crown. Have you talked to Piero yet? He made the weapons we left for you on your way out of Coleridge Prison. Go see him when you can. River traffic is forbidden from landing in the distillery district due to risk of infectious contact. Violators will be taken to the flooded district for treatment and rehabilitation.
I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. No! This cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there's a terrible mess. Perfect. Now plug it in. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The Assassin's Mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold still, fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? See the lens out of the line. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. Life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Very well. You know best. Let me know if you need anything more.
I once served under Admiral Havelock. Captain Havelock then. I don't know if he remembers me, but I fear it's rude to ask. I don't want to embarrass him. I was just a common riverman, hauling parcels and such along the river. But I know how to keep my trap shut, I do. This is about as far downriver as I care to go. Toward the flooded district, the river's thick with corpses. I've seen battles in my younger years, and I see you've got the stuff. Say the word, and I'll back you. All of the little people in the city like me, we miss the Empress something terrible. And the fact that young Lady Emily is out there somewhere still lost, it's just too much for most folks to think about. Not attempt to house or care for a friend or family member who shows signs of blood on their face and chest area. The only way to help them is to bring them to the city watch. They will be taken to the flooded district for treatment. Attention Dunwall citizens, be advised the river crust infestation has spread downriver as far as the river mouth and flooded district. Do not attempt to approach or destroy a river crust. Any items recovered from doing so are considered state property. My, you must be Corvo. I am Lydia. At your service. Your room is upstairs and ready. When they told me who it was, well, I thought you'd be older, like the Admiral. I'm sorry it's so dark. We can't risk being seen. It is a bit romantic, though, isn't it? I used to be the hostess here. Oh, I could tell you stories about that, believe me. You can call on Cecilia for the more menial tasks. It's what she's suited for. I hope the bed's to your liking. Let me know if you have trouble sleeping. Attention Dunwall citizens. Lady Emily Caldwin was abducted six months ago during her mother's terrible murder. Anyone with information leading to the location or return of the daughter of our beloved late Empress is required to speak to the City Watch at once. Yes, very much so, but no need to fear. He is here to work with our masters. People say he killed the Empress. Of course he didn't. People are foolish and believe whatever they're told. 
Okay. If the Admiral trusts him, then so will I. My furnishings have been installed at last with no small amount of complaining by that antiquated boatman. The others have no idea what it's like to suffer as I have. Speaking of which... Wallace! Please breathe two bottles of Dunwall Red, never mind which, and fetch a clean glass. <sighs> well... I'll begin again tomorrow. Pleased to meet you, Master Corvo. I saw you at court in... Happier days. But you might not remember. I was once a close ally to the Lord Regent, Hiram Burroughs, back when he was just the spy master. He's one manipulative bastard, I can tell you that. There's something distinguished about you, Corvo. Was there nobility back in your family line? I wouldn't be surprised. Did you know I'm distant kin to the late Empress in her line? Not close enough, sadly. I'll never be Emperor. Most of the nobility went straight over to the Lord Regent's side after the Empress died. Easiest thing to do. But to me, a noble birth requires a sense of loyalty. This city has fallen into ruin since the plague struck. These poor weepers moaning and bleeding from the eyes. They say there's no cure for the plague once it advances that far. Hmm. Terrible. The Admiral served in the Navy under the Empress, but something Attention happened to the Lord citizens. Regent that drove Curfew the Admiral out, if I understand sunrise, it right. Unless you are otherwise authorized. Admiral Havelock made it very clear that we aren't to carry lamps outside. Remember, Maybe you haven't seen much of it, but the city same. has changed a great deal after the Empress died. Since the Lord Regent took over, the city watch is best avoided. Most people try not to go outside at all. We can't leave the pub. I have nowhere to go anyway. My apartment was in the flooded district. Please follow me to your quarters. Citizens of Dunwall, 
The old court district has been added to the evacuation list. The weeper count for the month of seeds has increased. The Lord Regent has decreed that plague ordinances will remain in effect through the month of rain. Stay alert and stay loyal. This is your room. It was chosen to give you privacy. I understand you'll need your rest. River traffic is forbidden from landing in the distillery district due to risk of infectious contact. Violators will be taken to the flooded district for treatment and rehabilitation.